Hey guys, it's Michael Scott Hollish, and boy do I have a treat for y'all. I'm at my father's place, and parked in his garage is an original World War II 1941 Nazi German Wehrmacht Kubelwagen. These are pretty damn rare. In fact, you rarely see one of these even in a museum. And if you do, they would most likely be over in Europe. But they only made between 50 and 51,000 of these in the time period during World War II that they were being made. And if this car looks slightly familiar to you, it would be because Volkswagen roughly designed the Volkswagen thing later after this car. However, this is uh, a much beefier vehicle than the Volkswagen thing, but there are similarities. A uh, little history on this is Ferdinand Porsche, the infamous Porsche designer, owner, founder, designed this car. And then Volkswagen took that design and manufactured it. It was predominantly made for usage as a field staff car. It sat four comfortably, manual transmission. And these generally came unarmed. However, they did make a mount, I was told, that mounted to the back here. And although I've seen models of these with a pedestal for an MG34, my dad's friend said the more accurate mounting that you would find in these would be a mount here with an MG34 or 42 facing out the back or to do anti-aircraft cover from someone in the back seat. Another thing that he said was this handlebar for the passengers in the back, there would be some mounts that would uh, be placed and mounted onto this bar that would also hold K98 Mausers uh, for transportation. And uh, there's a jerry can. This car is obviously 100% original. I mean, obviously the tires and the wear and tear parts have been replaced, but as far as the body, the engine, etc. Um, and, uh, and as you can tell, with the body, you can tell that it has seen its fair share of usage, not only during the war, but uh, this is a 70 plus year old vehicle now. And like the Volkswagens after it, the engine is in the rear, the trunk is in the front, and uh, as far as the engine, this is just a, uh, a beefier flat four, so it's a four-cylinder engine, but uh, has a little bit more power than obviously a standard Volkswagen Beetle uh, or Volkswagen Thing engine that uh, came after and uh, it's very impressive just very clean and just so awesome and as you can tell they even make Wehrmacht oil now, obviously that is a reproduction to keep it 100% original when he is showing this but that is actually a reproduction of Wehrmacht German oil. I mean, obviously oil comes in it, but the reproduction uh, graphics on the bottle. So, just wanted to show this to you guys because it is not very often you get to see one of these. And uh, boy, was it a treat for me when I found out this thing was going to be parked in my father's garage uh, when his friend came to visit. He actually drove this here, but of course he only lives about less than two miles up the road. So, 
very very cool now a lot of these actually came in the gray color that you would see the the Viermont gray however this is the tan configuration so this is the DAC desert coloring sometimes they would just be you know plain tan like this and other times there would be an actual camouflage pattern but that is the DAC desert color and obviously they use these not only all over Europe but of course over in Africa during the African campaign as well which is the color configuration that this uh, is painted in so very cool all right guys you guys have a good day